Hello everyone, it is Peggy McCall and welcome. We are just a matter of seconds away from the top of the hour, but I thought I'd click the button and say hello and welcome everyone. I know some of you are on the chat roll right now and if you're here from somewhere else in the world, please let us know where you're connecting from. I noticed that we've had, we have a, a guest here from Slovenia, I believe. Let me put my glasses back on and we'll go back over here. Let us know where you're, where you're connecting from. Slovenia, yes. Buenos Aires, Argentina. We have Valdemont in Quebec. Wonderful. Trace is here from Austria. I'm here from beautiful Ottawa, Ontario in Canada. And if you'd like to share where you're from, please let us know. It'd be wonderful to hear from you. Vorlberg, Austria is where Trace is from. <laughs> welcome, welcome everyone. We are delighted that you're here. We designed this special seminar to help you have a quantum leap. So if there was something about the invitation that you saw, and of course the opt-in page where you registered for this special seminar that attracted you to having a quantum leap, I want you to really connect to what that was. Because what that is, is desire. There's something within you that has a desire to experience more. And if that's the case, that's very natural. So I want you to get excited about that because having a quantum leap or experiencing a quantum leap is absolutely something that you can accomplish. All right, we've got uh, <laughs> Octavia here from Louisiana. Kai is here from Estonia. Jenny's here. Welcome. And Eva is here, or Eva, from sunny Spain. All right. Wonderful. Well, great. Great to have you guys here. Delighted to be with you. I do have a particular outline that I'm going to go over that's going to give you some really valuable information and some strategies so that you can experience the quantum leaps in your life. What I suggest that you do is stay all the way to the end. I also have a surprise, something really exciting, a great opportunity for all of you that are on the call here today. I believe that we should be rewarded for certain things. And sometimes just showing up can create a reward. So we've done something that's pretty darn special. So I want you to stay here all the way to the end. How long will we be here together? We're going to be together for up to 90 minutes. Now, I want to respect your time, but I do have a lot of great content to go over. And there have been some questions that have already been addressed or asked that I'm going to be sure to answer during our time together. So Beatrice is here from Mexico, living in Houston, Texas right now. Delighted to have you here. And we have guest 5665 from India. If you've entered as a guest, if you've entered in your name appears as guest and you can modify it or you will be willing to modify it and put in your name. I'd love to see that. Love to work with names rather than just guest and some other number. That would be great. How do you change it? I think you go on to, you click on your name and you can probably change it that way. Or if you type something in, just type in your name as well. That would work just as easily and perfectly for us so that we get to see who's here. All right, we're going to start by talking about what is a quantum leap. Now, obviously, you are attracted to be here today, and I am absolutely committed to delivering to you, whether it's through our time that we're going to have together today or through continuing engagement, through continuing programs where I have other, there's multiple ways that I can uh, that I can help you accomplish your quantum leap and accomplish your goals in your life. All right, so Liz is excited. She says, I'm looking forward to learning quantum. I love that. Okay, so what is a quantum li lift or lift? <laughs> quantum leap. Sorry, I'm going to move my eyes away from there and put them over here so I'm not distracted by the chats that are going on in our little chat box that's there. Okay, so what's a quantum leap? A quantum leap is any time you make substantial improvement in er any area, multiple areas, or all areas of your life. <coughs> Excuse me. If we think about where you are now in your life, and we think about what that looks like, what does that feel like, what does that taste like? Now, you may be experiencing some dissatisfaction in your life. And if you are, I want you to get really excited. Yes, you heard that right. I want you to get really excited about your dissatisfaction. Why? Because dissatisfaction will stimulate growth. 
I know in my own life, I was extremely dissatisfied many, many years ago, and I made a decision that I would change my life. Now, I've experienced quantum leap after quantum leap after quantum leap in both in how I feel and, of course, in my results. And now I know that I'm meant to do the work that I'm doing right now. And I know I'm meant to help you. You are here for a reason. I'm here for a reason. We didn't come together by accident. We came together on purpose. You were perhaps looking for something. Maybe you were dissatisfied with something in your life. Maybe you found a goal that you're really excited about and you want to pursue that goal. You want to live that experience, whatever it is, I can help you. And I say that with absolute confidence because I know because of the changes I've made in my own life and the multiple changes I've helped other people achieve in their life. So a quantum leap is where you make a decision. Now, if you're here, I suspect you're already in that area, in that category of someone who's made a decision that you would love a quantum leap. And I'm just going to ask you, ask you right now, is making a quantum leap important to you? in your life. Now type that in, in the little chat box. I know we've got a lot of people that's in the chat box already. Type it in if it's important to you to make a quantum leap in your life. Is it important to you? All right, just type it in there. Thank you, Liz. I appreciate your kind words there. Kai says, yes. Man, man, Manai, I'm not sure how to say your name. I apologize if I'm not saying it properly. Uh, from India, great to see you again. Wonderful to have you here. Irina is here from Serbia. We've got another guest from Mexico. Yes, quantum leap after quantum leaps, <laughs> says Trace. Thank you, Trace. I appreciate that. And of course, I know that about you as well. Irina says, yes. Justice says, absolutely. Hey, Justice, are you the justice that I know that I met through Kayla? Just to let me know. I was actually, I saw your name there and I know Kayla had invited you to the uh, webinar today. All right. So we've got Eva, who says, see, si. of course, she's Spanish. She's from Spain. Wonderful. Beatriz says, yes. Octavia says, yes, ma'am. Catherine says, yes. Max Taryn from Texas says, yes. Of course, wouldn't be here otherwise. I love that about you, guest 3945. Sandra from Denmark. Oh, wonderful. Were you just at Anders Hansen's event? <laughs> All right, great. And of course, we have Beatriz who says, I want to radically change my life for the highest good in my families. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful thing to say. I love that. That just gave me goosebumps. Maynon says, yes. Kadeen says, Oh, she's here from Jamaica. Welcome. Happy to have you here. I love Jamaica. I've been there so many times. Love it. It's one of my favorite, favorite places. All right. And Eva's here from Belgium. Okay, wonderful. Ted is here. Yay, Ted. All right. Yes, Justice says yes. That's who I am. Wonderful, Justice. So happy to have you here. And of course, we've got a whole bunch of other people saying yes. Okay, so good. Now, obviously, you're here for a reason. I want to help you. And I love helping people. Ted's here from Naples, Florida. Wonderful. Niagara on the Lake. I love Niagara on the Lake, Paul. Beautiful. My husband and I went there for our 10th wedding anniversary. Okay, moving back over to my presentation because I could sit here and chat with you guys all day long and I would love to do that. Okay, so what does it take to make a quantum leap? I want you to really listen to this answer, okay? What does it take to make a quantum leap? Here's what I also want you to know. It's not that complicated. It's not. It's relatively simple. The reason why people don't make a quantum leap in their life is because they think it's going to be hard. They think it's going to be tough. They think they can't do it or they think they don't deserve it. So we're going to talk about that in a minute because I want to also guide you through some understandings of how you can get out of your own way and how you can create some phenomenal results. So what does it take to make a quantum leap. And I do suggest you have one of these and one of these in your hands. So you want to take some notes. Okay, what does it take to make a quantum leap? Number one, a decision, a decision that you're going to make a quantum leap. That is the first start. The next step in making a quantum leap is to make a commitment that you're going to make a quantum leap. So you decide, I am absolutely making a quantum leap in my life. All right, so you made a decision and then you make a commitment. How can you make a commitment? Well, there are a number of ways. 
One way is that you write on a little sheet of paper, I am so happy and so grateful now that I've made a quantum leap in my life in every area. Now, you could get a little more detail on that, but you sign it and then you put it somewhere in front of you. You put it on the wall in your bedroom or put it on the mirror in your bathroom or put it on your refrigerator or put it down that you're committed to your quantum leap. The next step to make a quantum leap is define what that quantum leap is. All right, what is that quantum leap? It could be a quantum leap in income. Now, let me ask you guys something. Those that are on the chat box, what kind of quantum leap are you looking to make in your life? Are you looking to make a quantum leap in your health, perhaps with your physical body? Are you looking to make a quantum leap in your earnings? Are you looking to make a quantum leap in your results of some kind? Are you looking to make a quantum leap in the way that you live? Are you looking to make a quantum leap in business? Are you looking to make a quantum leap in the home that you live in? What kind of quantum leap are you looking to create? Type it in the chat box. Okay, so Sneska says, in business. Awesome. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for your answers on the type of quantum leap that you're looking to create. So Kai says, I'm looking to buy apartments and rent them out. Awesome. Okay, great. Thank you. All right, great. Who else? Business earning results equals home. Yeah, absolutely. You could be looking to make a quantum leap in your income, and that's going to help you with quantum leaps in many areas of your life. Emmeline says, I'm looking to impact in the world. I love that. That's beautiful. Beatriz says, I want to make a quantum leap in my vocation and finances. Beautiful. My belief in myself that I can create more deeply that which I have begun or dream of. Absolutely. Money, home, business, right? In business. Okay, great. Business, career change. Thank you, Justice. I love that. So it doesn't matter what the quantum leap is. You've just decided you're making a quantum leap. And do you realize that the process has begun? The process has begun. And what do I mean by that? You see, there are these things in this world called the natural laws of the universe. There is a law, there are laws that dictate that the amount of money you earn is going to be in direct ratio to the need for what you do, your ability to do it, and the difficulty there is in replacing you. That's called the law of compensation. But there's also the law of cause and effect. There's a law of attraction. There's a law of vibration. There's a law of gestation. All of these laws will work in your favor. And I'm going to help you with working with those laws so that you can get the results that you're looking to create in your life right now right? No more. No more playing small. Now is the time. We're here, right here, right now at the 15th of May. It is time. Now you are dedicating your time right here, right now to be with me. I'm dedicating my time right here, right now to be with you. I am going to help you, but I can't help you without you helping yourself. So being engaged as you are doing right here, right now is extremely beneficial. All right, great. We see a whole bunch of other comments here too in business and girls, business finances and relationship, helping others, income and business, earnings via book, writing funnels and some weight loss in my finances. Okay, great. All right, now, please explain the divine timing after making a burning desire. Why is it that it seems to take longer to manifest? Okay, Liz, I'm going to answer that question. So just make a note, divine timing. And I'm going to answer that question. That is a fabulous question, a very important question, and I'm absolutely going to address it. But I'm going to go in order just to make sure that we walk through all of this and I'm going to get to the question part as well. And I'm thrilled to answer any questions that you may have. Okay, so we started with the decision, then we made a commitment, and then you declare and you describe what does it look like, meaning what does your quantum leap look like? So if it was a quantum leap in business, as an example, you would define, I am so happy and so grateful now that I am. And honestly, just as I know you said about a career change, a business and career change, even if you don't know exactly what you're going to be doing, I still want you to follow through this with this exercise. So things like I'm so happy and grateful that I am 
either running my own business or I'm in a career that I deeply love. Now, remember, you don't have to define exactly what that is or how it's going to happen. Now, let me repeat that. You don't have to define exactly what that is or how it's going to happen. What is most important when you're looking to take a quantum leap is the feeling state. What is it going to feel like when you've made that quantum leap? So if you're looking to create a quantum leap in your career or in your business, now some of you, as I've noticed from the, the comments that you've posted, you're very aware of where you're going to make your quantum leap or exactly how you're going to make your quantum leap, but you don't have to know how. This is a really important message. You do not have to know how you're going to make the quantum leap. Just decide what is the quantum leap and what does it feel like? What does it feel like? So if it's a career quantum leap, as an example, you would be writing out, I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm in my absolute ideal career. I do what I love. I love what I do. And I am rewarded very prosperously by earning an annual income. Now, you could define it any way you want. It could be a monthly income. I'm so happy and grateful that I'm earning every single month, whatever that number is. And you can simply pick a number. Pick a number out of the sky, Peggy. Yes, pick a number out of the sky. The same, now listen to this. This is really important as well. The same level of energy to manifest $10,000 a month will manifest a million in a month. The same energy. What I'm talking about right now, right here, right now, whatever you decide is going to be your outcome is going to come from your own belief system. But what you must do to take a quantum leap is you must suspend any disbelief. You must push apart, push aside any of those paradigms, any of those beliefs that have been holding you back. You got to push them aside and you simply have to dream and you get to dream big, really, really big. So what would you really love? What would you really love to be earning? What would you love? How would you love to be living your life? And you describe it. I am so happy and so grateful. I was chatting with someone. When was it? Where was it? Oh, it was yesterday. I was at the dentist, actually. And uh, I found my I used to go to this dentist here in Ottawa and I loved her and she retired and she was about my age and she retired and decided to do some traveling. Well, she ended up getting back into dentistry and opened up a different clinic or went to work at a different clinic. So I found her and I signed up and I'm now going to her again. And one of the ladies that works with her, a hygienist, her name is Melanie. I've known for many, many years. And so Melanie works with my dentist. And so I was chatting with Melanie yesterday. And of course, she was excited to see me. I was excited to see her. It's kind of hard to have a conversation with go to the dentist because they have stuff in your mouth. They can talk. You can't talk so much. But she said to me, she, uh, so I asked her, I said, so what are your goals, Melanie? And we we're talking about that because this dentist used to hire me to do workshops with her team, with her dental team. I mean, she was an extraordinary dentist. She is an extraordinary dentist. And so she said her goal is that she would love to win the lottery, the jackpot in the lottery. Actually, what she said was that she would love to, her goal is to win the lottery sometime in the future. And I said, well, if that's your goal, you've got to claim it as if it's here now, as if you've won it and claim that you won the jackpot of the lottery. I mean, someone has to win, right? And so what's the point? The point is you get clarity on the outcome, but you claim it as if it's already here right now. So if your goal is to change your career or to create a phenomenally successful business, then I would describe it. But here's how I would describe it. I would describe it as something that is profitable, that is enjoyable, that is fulfilling, that feels rewarding, that you love to do, whether you're doing it every single day or whether it's something that you're doing part time. But you talk about and you describe it as if you're living that way right here right now okay yes ismael is asking can you give us the daily steps to plant my dream in my emotional mind absolutely i'm absolutely going to get to that ismael I, I noticed your question in the beginning and i have every intention to answer that question and actually good timing because we're talking about that right now so once you've described 
what this ideal life is like or quantum leap is like, whether it's a quantum leap in earnings, whether it's a quantum leap in your net worth, whether it's a quantum leap in any area of your life or multiple areas, you could absolutely define multiple areas in your life that you're having quantum leaps for. How do you actually live it? And this is the part that really speaks to what Ismail's asking, because the question is asked, how do you live it every day so that it goes into your emotional mind? Now, let me explain something here. I want to just show you. I've got a piece of paper here right now, and I want to show you a diagram that Dr. Thurman Fleet created way back when that Bob Proctor uses all the time to explain how our mind works, but mostly to help you understand how you work. And I want to show it to you right now. And I know Bob doesn't mind that I do that. This is what's called the stickman concept. All right, stickman concept. There's a large circle on top and a smaller circle on the bottom. Now, those of you that have studied any of Bob Proctor's material, you've probably already seen this multiple times. And, uh, and if so, you very likely understand it. But I want to explain it as we talk about quantum leaps. So when we think about results, I'm going to put an R on this page that represents results. All of our results are coming from our conscious what we allow in our conscious mind that we impress upon our subconscious mind that we feel in our physical body. And of course that moves us into action. So if we look at this little diagram, the top half of the circle here is what's known as your conscious mind. And the bottom part of this is your subconscious mind. And this of course is your body. So we've got our conscious mind, our subconscious mind, and our physical body. Now, in our subconscious mind, which is really our emotional mind, and this is what Ismail was asking about, this is our emotional mind, right? This is where we feel. This is where our feelings are. So there's an expression. I just put a little heart in that little corner there. There's an expression by a wonderful philosopher that goes like this, as a man thinketh, in his heart, so is he. In his heart, so is he. So in other words, your identity is created by you. You're creating your identity. Now, it may have been previously created by your parents or by your teachers or by your siblings or people that were or are important to you in your life. You see, as a child, we don't have the ability to accept or reject, but our conscious mind does have the ability to accept or reject. So as a young child, we accept pretty much everything. So if you're told you're smart and you're told you're smart over and over and over and over and over again, it goes firmly being planted into your subconscious mind and you start to believe that you are what? Smart, right? If you're told that you are sloppy, lazy or anything else, not smart, that's good. And you're told that over and over again, it's going to go into your subconscious mind. If you're told that you're not worthy of success, that you don't deserve to have the things that you want, and you're told that over and over and over again, it goes firmly into your subconscious mind. You see, this is where your belief systems are housed in your subconscious mind. So if you want to produce different results, we've got our little R here. When you want to produce different results, you got to change what goes into your mind and you got to change what goes into your mind daily, every single day. You've got to impress in your subconscious mind over and over again, the ideas that are supportive of you living your ideal life. So if we think about ideas that we're going to accept into our conscious mind, so we're going to accept them and we're going to accept these as a positive idea. And through space-time repetition, let me see if I can put this behind this so we can make this a little more smooth. Should have probably brought my whiteboard up here, but that's okay. We're going to work with what we've got. So we impress it over and over and over again. So it could be something like, I am so happy and grateful that now that I'm easily earning an income of whatever that happens to be, and I'm doing work that's deeply meaningful, contributing in this world in positive ways, and I'm having fun. OK, that could be your affirmation that you're repeating over and over and over again. But what's most important is that you do become emotionally involved in it. And I love the question, because what what was being asked is, how do you get that into your emotional mind? Well, your subconscious is your emotional mind, how you get these ideas impressed upon your subconscious mind so that they become part of your habitual way of being is through repetition. But it's not just repeating words that are being spewed out of your mouth. It's repetition of ideas 
that you're saying over and over and over again that are what's called a total match, a vibrational match for the outcome. So when we think back to where I was many years ago, when I first met Barb Proctor, I was at the young age of, I was around 19 or 20 years of age, and I was messed up, messed up emotionally. So what had been impressed upon my conscious mind and my subconscious mind over and over again was how I didn't deserve anything, how I certainly didn't deserve success, how it wasn't for people like us because I was raised in a very poor environment and how I wasn't educated and I didn't have this and I didn't have that and this was wrong with me and that was wrong with me. And so that was my belief. That was my belief. And so when I met Bob Proctor and he started to talk about these ideas of success and he opened my mind to all new ideas, I was like, wow, so I can actually change my life and you can do it. Bam, like that. Now, how can you do it like that? You make a decision, you make a commitment, you connect to the outcome as if it's already here and you feel it now. So stay with me, really pay attention, focus, focus, focus here. I'm going to ask you a question. It's a really important question. There's going to be two questions, actually. Number one, I want you to think about this and define what is your ideal quantum belief? I want you to think about it. I want you to take a few minutes and think about that right now. So if you were to have a quantum leap in your life, what would that be like? What would that look like? And let's just make these short answers for the sake of what we're doing right now. Okay. What is that quantum leap? I am so happy. I'm going to do this with you. Okay. I'm so happy and so grateful. Now that this is how you're going to write it. Okay. Now that I have taken a positive, you can write this down. Okay. Positive quantum leap in my life and now I am and then whatever that is whatever that goal is so now that okay so let me start again I am so happy and so grateful now that I have taken a positive quantum leap in my life and now I am now if it's an earning goal I would put down now I am easily earning and then you put a, a number down, whatever that number is. I'm now easily earning whatever it is in personal annual income. And I am having fun. Okay, something like that. Now, let me go over to the chat screen. I want to type this out for you so that you can write it out as well. Okay, so let me just type this, type this out. Okay, I'm going I'm to come back. Don't worry. I'm going to answer all your questions, all your questions. Okay. I am so happy and so grateful now that I have taken a positive quantum leap in my life. And now I am. And then that's where you put the rest. So as an example. Okay, so let's, I'm going to give you an example here. Let's fix my spelling errors. Okay, so as an example could be something like I am easily earning an annual income of, and you put down that, whatever that number is, in personal income, and I am having a whole lot of fun. <laughs> All right, could be something like that. This is for you and your eyes only, okay? This is for you and your eyes only. So you want to be writing out an affirmation that connects you to this quantum leap as if it's already here. All right. So I'm asking you guys to all do that right now. I'm so happy and grateful that I've taken a positive leap leap in my life now. And I'm easily earning $70,000 per month with my new mentor and having fun. Woohoo! Way to go, Ted. I love it. Okay, great, Ted. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Oops. What oops? What happened? Did you make a boo-boo? Ted made a boo-boo, maybe. Okay, come on back, Ted, and tell us what it was. Okay, you don't have to share your quantum leap with me here. It's not necessary. I just want to make sure you do it. All right? You got to follow through. You absolutely must follow through. I can't tell you how important it is. If you want to have a quantum leap, you got to follow through with what I'm recommending. So make sure that you're following through with what I'm suggesting here, okay? All right, so once you've written down what your quantum leap is 
as an affirmation. <laughs> okay, good, good. Well, Ted, it's okay. That we're you're in a safe place. Everyone here is friendly. They're all wonderful. They're supportive, and they're all going to see you in the light of you having that goal materialize in your life. So thank you. Thank you for sharing. Now you don't have to share anyone else you want to share. That's great. It's awesome. Jo Jody, thank you for that. No worries. We are inspired. Yeah. Ted, you're very likely inspiring other people to perhaps set a goal that's going to excite and inspire them as well. Please know this, every one of you, you don't have to know how you're going to do this. All right. You don't have to know how just decide this is what you're going to accomplish. This is a really important part. That was one of the most important messages I learned from Bob Proctor many, 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 many years ago is you do not have to know how. All right. So I ask all of you, have you all done this? Have you all written down something? OK, so I'm going to imagine you're all saying yes, 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 Peggy. All right. What's the next thing? All right. What's the next thing I want you to do? Let me see if you guys have all written that down. I want to see some yeses on my screen. I'm not going on until I see some yeses on my screen, okay? Thank you, Paul. Paul kicked us off with a nice yes there. Thank you. I appreciate you for doing that. Okay, good. Yepers, says Trace. <laughs> Thank you, Trace. Thank you, guest 4772. Thank you, Maynon, Diana, Jody, Ismael, Justice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good, all right, good. You guys are here. Wonderful. Ava's there. Ted's yes. Sneska says yes. All right, perfect. Okay, here's the next thing. All right, you ready? <laughs> thank you, Catherine. Maylin, Octavia, wonderful. Men, many, I'm not sure how to say your name. I apologize. Irina says yes. Okay, good, good. We're getting lots of great engagement. Okay, the next thing is, Here's what I want to ask you and really pay attention to this. Okay. How does it feel? Think about this. Really think about it. Okay. How does it feel now that you're experiencing that quantum leap? Just imagine it's here right now. Imagine it. Just take a few minutes to really connect to that outcome as if it's here right now. I have goosebumps, goosebumps, because I'm doing this with you, right? What I'm teaching you is what I do. This is what I do every day. Now, we're going to get to the daily stuff in a minute. I'm going to answer that question. I'm going to answer the other question about timing that Liz had asked earlier. How does it feel? For me, I feel an overwhelming sense of joy. It puts a big smile on my face. All right. It puts a big smile on my face. I'm feeling it. I'm fully feeling it. Okay, I am tearful, I'm emotional. Unlimited, says Susan. Yeah, absolutely. It feels good. All right, so you connect to the feeling state. It's really important, vitally important that you connect to what it feels like now that you've achieved that goal, okay? Now that you've achieved that goal, you've got to connect to what that feels like. Ooh, I love that, Rod. Rod says calmness of mind. That feels good. Rosie's here. Haven't seen you in a while, Rosie. Good to see you here now. It feels amazing. And now I can buy my dream house. So happy and grateful. I'm feeling ready for another leap, says Ted. I love it. Eva says, I feel like I can conquer the world. And you can. You can conquer the world. Peaceful, content, luxurious, satisfying, energized, excited, all this and wanting more. Yes, guest 3945. Uh, Catherine says it feels like exceptional freedom and joy. Paul says my business achievements sync beautifully with my spiritual side. Oh my goodness, I love that. Yes, says guest 6585. Amazing, says Bere. Thank you. I'm unemployed. I've been flying you and Bob Proctor for many years. I just signed up for one of your book programs. Do you have any advice for me? Yeah, dive in and study and implement. Thank you, Danielle. Good for you. Malin, full of love, pride, and true bliss. Octavia says, every time I do this exercise, I feel so relieved and so relaxed. Manny says, now I feel about my dream cars and my adventure tours. I am feeling wonderful. All right, great. Okay, good. What you just did there, you anchored in a feeling, right? You felt it. You felt the outcome as if it's here right now. What you must do to experience that quantum leap in your life is feel it every single day day. All right. Now we're going to get to the daily stuff and I'll talk about the timing in a minute. You've got to do that every single day, bar none. 
and you can't be doing it some part of the day and not the rest of the day you got to be doing it all day long I received an email yesterday from one of my subscribers and they told me that they had been working on a financial goal and yet they're not seeing the results yet and this really speaks to what Liz had asked earlier and I'm going to address this a little more in a little bit more detail but what I asked this person is are you truly connecting to the feeling of the outcome every day all day and you're not allowing any negativity in and they were like no they're 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 having experiences of negativity and you will have experiences because that's the way you're wired your programs your belief systems are there it's going to take some work to change these paradigms it's going to take some effort to change this so starting now is a great place to start but this is going to be a daily thing a daily exercise okay okay so beatrice i love your honesty i am sad and embarrassed to be that person saying i feel happy but fearful and fears overtake the sensation of happiness i have fear to do something big and important very rooted it comes from generations back in my family i don't know what to do okay perfect this is good i'm so happy for your honesty i really appreciate that very much number one here's what you need to know and this is not about any judgment at all it's simple observation the simple fact is that you are the one that's in control of all of your emotions. Nobody else, nothing else is controlling you. Okay, you gotta understand that. That's the first thing. You gotta understand you're in control of your emotions. So if you're feeling fear, recognize it's part of the process. It's absolutely part of the process. You are not alone in that everybody's gonna feel fear when they're stretching themselves when they're going for a quantum leap get excited about the fear there was a book that was written way back in the 80s you don't need to go buy it but I just want to reference this because we're talking about fear here and I think it's important to address fear right now and the book was written by an author by the name of Susan Jeffers and it was called feel the fear and go for it anyway Feel the fear, Beatrice. It's there. It's understandable. Yeah, your your ancestors or people in your family were doing that. I know exactly what you're talking about. People will tend to repeat. Our, we have people that are in this world that are on social services or welfare. Very likely their parents were or their grandparents were. It's something that trickles down, but you can break the patterns. You can break the patterns. Part of that is because of the patterns of the way that people think. You got to be cautious of what you're thinking. So if you're feeling the fear, yeah, you're not alone, says Jody. Thank you, Jody. I really appreciate that. Denying the evidence of the senses. Thank you, Ismail. That's good. Yeah, absolutely. We're really getting into this now. I want to keep my track as well and address all these very, very important questions that you guys are asking. These are phenomenal questions. So feel the fear and go for it anywhere is absolutely part of the process. Do you think I didn't have fear when I bought this home that we're living in? It was multi-millions. I was thinking, I had this little voice in my head going, what the hell are you doing, Peggy? And this other one going, go for it. Feel the fear and go for it anyway. But how are you going to buy it? You don't have to know how. I mean, it's just like this little dialogue going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. you got to shut the voice down that's non-supportive. you got to create a new voice and a new version that speaks to you very supportive. That's positive. You know, Trace is on this call. Trace is a business partner of mine. And Trace is an extraordinary man. If you haven't met him yet, you definitely want to meet, Tra meet Trace. He's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite people on the planet. And he was telling me that he was engaging in a technique. I don't know if he learned it from me, whether he learned it from Neville Goddard or whoever he learned it from. But here's the technique. I'm going to give you a technique right now. We're going to talk about more techniques as we go through this time together. But here's the technique. As you are drifting off to sleep at night, <laughs> as you're drifting off to sleep at night, you can do one of two things and actually you can do both of these things here's one of them one thing that you're going to do is as you're drifting off into sleep and do this tonight okay actually write it down on a piece of paper and put it beside your bed i have this on a sign that's right here on my desk so here's what you do you're going to ask yourself this question and trace if you don't mind type the question in the little chat box so everybody has it there so here's the question you're going to ask yourself tonight as you're drifting off into sleep you can put your name on it so if it's justice you know she put justice now that my dream is fulfilled how do i feel 
Now that my dream is fulfilled, how do I feel? When I first learned this technique, I actually learned it from Neville Goddard in this book, The Power of Awareness. He talks about that. As you're drifting off into sleep, ask yourself the question, now that my dream is fulfilled, how do you feel? Now, I used to have it on a little index card. Now I have it on a big sign. It says, Peggy, today, now that your dreams are fulfilled, how do you feel? Now, I only had so many characters I could get on my little sign, so I had to shorten it a little bit. But now that your dream is fulfilled, how do you feel? Now, I do that every night. It's a habitual for me to do this every single night. But I also had the sign made, and I put it here in my office so that I could really connect to it, so I could really feel it every single night. The other thing that you can do, the second thing you can do at night before you go to bed is something called the revision process revision process so let me give an example let's say you're waiting to hear word about something maybe you're looking to bring on a new client maybe you're looking to generate some revenue maybe you're looking to buy a home maybe you're looking to meet your soulmate whatever it is the revision process is a process that you invoke as you're going off into sleep at night and basically it works like this you revise your day so let's say you had a day that didn't go the way you wanted or didn't go as you would have loved it to go and it went another way and things didn't happen as you would have loved them to happen. But instead, you revise your day and what you're seeing in your mind's eye, which is called your imagination, is you're seeing the day or an event unfold the way you desire it to unfold. All right, what are we really talking about with all this? With making affirmations, with responding to the questions, with doing the, the response to now that your dream is fulfilled, how do you feel? With doing the revision process, we're talking about engaging in emotional experiences that cause you to feel as if you're already living that ideal life. And I'm gonna give you another technique. This technique is the most powerful technique I've ever, 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 ever done. It's a technique that I created back in the 90s and I've been following through with this technique for many, many, many years. It's a technique called the Power Life Script. So the Power Life Script is the process where you script, you write out a detailed description of your life the way you want it to be exactly the way you would love your life to be i actually created a whole program called power life script i explained the whole process in detail and I actually created a whole bunch of scripts that i've recorded that even if you don't want to record your own you can use some of mine but the power life script is a process where i have scripted my life exactly as I choose for it to be using only positive words, emotionally charged words that cause me to feel it. And then I record it. And then I listen to it every single day, every single day, multiple times a day over and over again. Now I have these things called earbuds. And I also have this, you know, my little microphone, I have uh, probably a hundred of these things, earphones, plugins for my iPhone. I have them for my computer. And so what I do is I listen to, I plug in my little headphones or earbuds every morning and I listen to my Power Life script over and over and over again. I mentioned earlier that I was at the dentist yesterday. I was actually listening to my life script while I was in the dental chair. I mean, I'm laying there on my back anyways, right? They're checking out my teeth and doing their thing. I have my earbuds in, listen to my Power Life script. I drove to the dentist's office. I listened to my Power Life script on the way to the dentist. I drove back from the dentist's office. I listened to my Power Life script on the way back. What is it doing? What is a Power Life script doing? It's impregnating. If you think about that diagram that I shared with you earlier, let me go and find my little sheet of paper. Here we go. This is what the Power Life script does. It's impressing an idea on your subconscious mind over and over and over again until you get to a point you believe it. You just know it. You become so strong. There's nothing that's going to knock you off track. It becomes so impressed in your subconscious mind. That is the only way you know how to live. And then, and then these wonderful things happen that are pleasantly surprising. Absolutely wonderfully surprising. All right, but you've got to be conditioning your mind every single day. So Ismael was asking the question about how do you do that? How do you do that? This is how you do it. You could stop if you wanted for a moment, close your eyes and tap in the vision of seeing yourself living that life. That's tapping into your mental faculty called the imagination. And you see it, you feel it. 
but it doesn't really matter. This is really a really important point. I think you got to understand this. It doesn't matter what you are doing. What matters is how you are feeling. So yes, you want to be doing things that are taking you in the direction of your goals. Yes, you want to be studying and implementing. And we've got a number of people that are on this call right now who are in programs that I have. Many people that are in this program. This is a new program that Trace and I launched recently called A Million in a Month. And I want to talk about that a little bit as well, because this is a quantum leap experience. If you're really looking to have a quantum leap experience, a million in a month is absolutely the place to do it. But I want to get back and I want to address some of these very important questions that have been coming in here because I think they're really, really important. Don Miller just wrote, I am so happy and grateful now that I am earning $100,000 a week with my incredible, great Zindio opportunity. And I strongly believe I will have in my possession by December 1st, 2019, $5 million and be living in my majestic log home on my 10,000 acre cattle ranch. Okay, great, Don, I love that. Let me offer one suggestion, okay? One suggestion. Now this is gonna go against what you may or may not have learned from others. Here's what I suggest. You write out your affirmation as if it's already here right now. For example, that 5 million, I would be affirming it as if it's here now, not some other time in the future. I understand you have a date in mind, but you claim it as if it's here right now. All right. As if it's right now. I love that. Trey said, Don, this is awesome. Someone actually wrote us this morning to say they bought their log home. They're in a, a number of our programs as well. OK, great. Rod is saying, how do you stay laser focused on your goals, free from distractions? Do you have days where the intensity of feelings towards your goals isn't so high? Let's be honest. We have so many thoughts going on in our heads. Staying focused for any more than two seconds for the average person is hard. Our proctor often says that a dot in the wall, stay focused on it develop the will. Do you stay focused on one thing and ensure that your mind doesn't drift? Absolutely, Rod. That's essential for success. You've got to train yourself. You have to train, you have to condition your mind. Do you think I was always doing these things that I'm doing now? Heck no, but I'm doing them now. Absolute laser focus. Now, Bob does talk about that. You can put a dot in the wall and stare at it so you can develop your focus and develop your will. You could also you could also uh, light a candle and stare at the candle. All right. You could do something like that. Absolutely. Develop your will. Okay. I wouldn't say it is December 30th. I would just say I have the $5 million in my bank account. Okay, great. All right. Let's go back up here because we've got some questions here. I feel so excited. I can't sleep. <laughs> Man, I, I'm, I'm, again, I'm not sure how to say your name, but has written here. I already tried this, but when I think about completing my dreams before I go to bed, I feel so excited. I can't sleep at that time. It sounds funny, but I face this problem. Me too. Absolutely. Do you know what I did? And I actually talk about this in the Power Life Script program. I created an evening version of my Power Life Script. So it says something like this. I recorded it with my own voice. It says something like this. Now, as you drift off into sleep and you feel that wonderful sense of gratitude to be truly living your dream life, you go to sleep and rest so well, knowing that all your desires are already here right now. Your success is absolutely guaranteed and you're about to drift off and do a wonderful sleep. You're going to sleep so well. So I incorporate it into my life script, but I created a nighttime version so that it's calming. It's more calming. But before I created that nighttime version, I was a lot like you. So excited. I actually jumped out of bed and ended up doing some fun stuff because I was so excited. Yes. Okay. Guest 3348 says, folks, just a comment here, all these fears, paradigms that some of us have lived with for years. And yes, even coming from prior generations, when we get really sick and tired of not living our dream lives, we should use that disappointment, anger, whatever emotion, and realize that these teachers such as Peggy and Bob Proctor have appeared at this time for a reason. Generations prior did not have this opportunity. Seize the moment is all I can say. This is your time. Yeah. Who are you, guest 3348? You just gave me goosey bumps. I love that. I love that. Yeah. Now's the time to get on over to a million a month as well. I want to talk about that in a minute too. I want to talk about what that is, how it can help you. And also, we've got a special surprise for you. I'm going to tell you about that right now. But I want to, Lorna, yay, Lorna. All right. I love you. That's so awesome. That's great. Okay. I want to talk about the law of gestation because I know the question had been asked earlier. 
Liz had asked the question and there's a lot of comments here. We've been going back and forth for quite some while. And so I'm not sure exactly where Liz's comment, but I know she was asking about the time period, the time that it takes for a goal to manifest into form. And I want to talk about that right now. I'm just quickly trying to find Liz's exact question. That's okay. I can't really find it, but I want to talk about um, the law of gestation. All right. Great, great, great. Love it. Okay, good. All right, Danny, I'm going to come back to your question in a minute. So just hang in there. I'll be right back to address your question. Okay, let's talk about this thing called the law of gestation. All right, the law of gestation. It decrees that there's a period of time that must elapse before all things will manifest into form. All right, that's why when we set a date on a particular goal, most of the time we're guessing. All right, most of the time we're guessing. We don't always know, but it depends. Like if you've bought something, like when I bought this house, I had a firm date that I was working toward, but I believed and knew and saw us living in this home. I felt what it would feel like to live in this home. And sure enough, we manifested everything that was required to purchase this home. And we moved in here three weeks ago tomorrow. All right. So the law of gestation. Now, if you get to a point, this hear me, I really want you to hear this, okay? There's so many things that we're covering today that are absolutely essential for success. Hear this. Do not get frustrated with the process. If you get to a point where you're like, dang it, this isn't happening. Peggy said it would. I've been doing the revision process. I've been doing them now that my dream is fulfilled. How does it feel? I created my power life script. I'm listening to it every day. I do my affirmations. I do my visualization. I see it. I feel it, but it's not happening. What the heck's going on? The moment you do that, it's like you've just uprooted all the plants that you have planted firmly in the ground. You see, you're working with the laws of the universe. You're attracting to you everything that's requisite for the fulfillment of your goal. All right. Everything that's requisite for the fulfillment of your goal is being attracted to you right now. Do not give up on the dream. Do not get frustrated. If you find frustration, dissatisfaction, anger, sadness, worry, guilt, doubt, any of those emotions or any other emotion that doesn't feel good starts to creep up. Just recognize that it's there and get rid of it. How do you get rid of it? Well, you replace it with a positive emotion. And typically the emotion that you're replacing it with is opposite from the emotion that you're experiencing. So if you're all uptight and out of sight, you need to get calm, right? Now that your dream is fulfilled, how do you feel? How do you feel? I remember years ago when my son was two years of age and my husband, my ex-husband and I were getting divorced and I decided I'm gonna buy a house. I had no idea how I was gonna buy the house and I didn't have any money to buy a house, but I went out and I bought a house. And it was at that point that I felt fear. You know, earlier we were talking about fear. I felt a lot of fear. But I recognize fear is a part of the process. Dissatisfaction is part of the process. Upset is going to be part of the process. you got to recognize that. You're going to get that. It's going to show up. It's how you're going to deal with it. How are you going to manage it? What are you going to do about it in the process to get past that? You see, as I said earlier, very lovingly, you are in control of your emotions. Nobody else is controlling your emotions. They're yours, all yours, and you're in control. Nobody upsets you. Nobody made you feel anything. A bill that came in the mail doesn't make you feel anything. You get to choose always how you are feeling, always, all right? So the reason why people don't achieve their goals is because they went off track. They gave up the dream. It could have been just around the corner. Now, how do you know? Sometimes you don't know. Sometimes you don't know if that dream is just around the corner. It may take a little bit longer to get there. Like prior to buying this home, my husband and I probably looked at hundreds of homes. I mean, there was a home in this city on the market and it was over a certain price range. We went and looked at it. I mean, there were times where I was thinking like, when the heck is this gonna happen that we're gonna find our home? And I have to remind myself, what is it that you would love? All right, you remind yourself. So. I started to tell you the story about many years ago when I went to buy a home, didn't have any money and I bought it anyways. And all that fear was coming up. I would just create, I created a technique. Now, part of the technique was listen to my power life script every single day. That was the most important thing that I did. But if I was like, 
walking down the street or driving my car or doing the dishes and all of a sudden the fear started to well up or or the frustration started to come inside me i would just do this i would notice it was there and then i would ask myself this question now that your dream is fulfilled how does it feel what is it that you want what is it that you'd really love i'd love to own that home all right what's that feel like feels pretty darn good all right go straight to feeling and I would just create this technique of snap myself out of the negative feeling, snap myself out of the negative feeling, put myself back on track, put myself back on track. That's what you've got to do. And it will work every single time, bar none, every single time. All right. Thank you, Andrew. I appreciate that. Thank you, Liz. I appreciate you. All right. Thank you, Malin. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Octavia says, like planting a seed of a carrot. We don't see it because it grows below the ground. True. All right. So how long does it take to plant an idea in the emotional mind? And how do you know that it's already planted in my heart? Oh, my God, this is such an awesome question. Thank you for asking. How long does it take? Bam, it can happen like that. It takes an instant, instant, it's there, plant it in instant, it's there. Now, you followed up with a really important question. How do I know that it's already planted in my heart? By how you Feel by how you feel. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> yeah, Don says it's awesome to be back in the saddle again. I love it. Sandra says I use positive feelings and gratitude to stay positive. Absolutely. Gratitude is a wonderful, that's another state shifter. For example, I wake up every day and I write in my gratitude journal. Sometimes, oh, thank you, Rosie. Sometimes I write my gratitude journal about things that are already in my life. Sometimes I write my gratitude journal about things that are happening for other people, like Trace, my business partner, who I love and appreciate so much. I'll write down, I'm so happy and grateful that Trace has achieved his goal. I'll write down in my, in my, uh, a gratitude. I'm so happy and grateful that Kayla, my daughter-in-law, has achieved a goal that she set for herself. Or I'll write down a goal that's in the future, but I'll write that write it down. Gratitude as if it's already here right now. And you don't have to only write out gratitude in the morning. You could write out gratitude um, all the time. Okay, Ismail is asking a really important question. Where can I sign in to be able to ask monthly Q and A calls? This one with you. This is an amazing call. Thank you. I appreciate. It. I love serving you guys. Here's a place you can go, a million in a month. Let's talk about that for a little bit. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to share some questions with you. I want to go over, I'm going to share my screen with you just for a moment. I want to show you some things. This is going to be fun. So stay with me because I've got a surprise for you as well. So let's go here and then I'm going to come back and hit share screen. There we go. Screen share. And now you should be seeing my screen. There we go. Okay. So I want you to think about this. This is a screenshot that Trace took, and it is, I think, one of our bank accounts that we have. So just imagine every day, thousands and thousands of dollars are deposited in your bank account. Now, what are we talking about here? We're talking about something called a million in a month. Now, what I would like for you to do, I'm just going to go over here. This is my chat screen that you can see. I'm going to type in a million in a month dot com. So you can see you can go here right now. This is a quick start study guide. I want you to all, if you haven't already done this, go here, enter your name and your email address and get instant access to this million in a month study guide. OK, because this is what we're teaching. Trace and I have been doing the online business. We've been working in the online space for many years. You know what I love about it? I love that we are contributing and helping people in positive ways. I love that it's rewarding work. I love that it's connected to passion. And I love that it gets better and better every day in every way. So just imagine for a moment, this is your results. These are your results. Maybe they're bigger, maybe they're better, maybe they're smaller, whatever they are. Now, if you sat here with a calculator, you probably calculate up to about $150,000 there within a very short period of time. Just imagine that you are earning the kind of money that you'd really love to be earning. Imagine what that's like pretty darn awesome, right? Well, that's what's possible in our million in a month program. Now we've been working with so many wonderful people, Didi, who you may or may not know. Didi is a wonderful woman who said that she is in love with our program. And she loves that we're sharing and she says she's done many different programs. But she said that this is one of the best programs she's ever studied. And we go into detail, like absolute, utter detail on how this works. 
Lauren says, it's the best course I've ever taken. I've been waiting for someone to teach me about funnels. That's internet marketing in a simplified way, no matter where you start from, right? It's a course. It's a course that we teach about the mental side of it, what's required for you mentally. And then of course we teach you about what's required. Now I'm going to stop sharing for a moment. I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to show you behind the scenes. So let me go to here and I'm going to go to my dashboard. Just going to do a little sneaky peek in here of our back end. I'm going to take it behind the scenes and show you what the program looks like. All right. So let's go back over here and we're going to share a screen again. Sharing screen. Come on, baby. OK, there we are. And save. All right. So let's go over here. Now what I've done is I've gone in the back end of the program. So when you're a member of a million in a month, you have access to Trace and I twice a month. We do these open Q&A calls. If you can't get on the call, you can ask your questions anytime. This is like open 24 seven a day. Now this is where it starts. It starts with the million in a month welcome messages from me. There I am right there. And that talks about the mindset that's required. This is a million in a month mindset that's required in order for you to get there. Then I get into consciousness, possibility, desire, growth, starting point, revenue models, compensation idea, potential, getting your team, making it look small, easy, defying logic, creating confidence and getting through the terror barrier and any blocks that are holding you back. You see, that's one of the things a lot of people are challenged with is they think, oh, you know what? That sounds great. But who am I to create something or offer something online? Who are you not to? Who are you to play small in the world? That doesn't serve you. And it certainly doesn't serve other people. Even if you got an inkling, everybody has something of value to share. It doesn't matter who you are. I've seen people just come out of nowhere. All of a sudden they're talking about organic gardening and they're making money doing so, or they love cooking and they've created their own online cooking channel, or they're doing something on investment strategies, or they're doing something on mindset, visualization, those kinds of things. But we get into all of that here. And then we have our open Q and A calls and we have a private Facebook group. And in our Q and A calls, we record everything. So it's all there. And then we schedule them out. So you can see when the calls are. Then we get into how do you create your own program, starting with an idea, what's the process? And then Trace goes into detail after detail of how you actually launch a program online, starting from wherever you are right now. And then we get into ebook marketing magic, ebook templates, an example. We have all the funnels there. Everything's there for you to show you how to do it. And then we give you all kinds of extra goodies too. This is the most complete program we have ever created. It is loaded up. I think we're not charging enough for this program. I think it should be a, a heck of a lot more than what we're already, uh, what's being charged for this program. But you'll see that the returns on that is exponential. We'd love to have you in that program. Now let's go back over here so that we can continue to take a look at what others are saying about the program. So Angie, who's in our program, says she's from Ontario, like me. We have people from all over the world in this program. She's owned her business for 22 years. And today she created a plan following what she learned in the program on a $100 million plan. She said she never thought she could do that before. It's really a mind expanding program. Absolutely extraordinary. Now, here's Pazit who is another Canadian actually, and she created something by following through called Six Secrets to Success, Grow Your Goals in Record Time. And she's in the program making things happen. Dora says, it's been a busy week. She says, I used the ebook book funnel for her project and she's into mortgages and she completed all the technical steps. And she said, the instructions are so clear easy and fun. I had never done any online marketing. So if I can do it, you can too. She posted that online on a Facebook uh, page. Annalie, same thing. Another woman who got into the program who decided that she's so happy and grateful now that she's earning a million in a month, having the freedom to work anywhere she wants, spending quality time with her family. Lots of quality time with your family. This does not mean you have to sacrifice your life for it. This is something you can do part time and you can do it anywhere. It's something you could start now. And there's Pat who says, I'm so grateful for this hand on hands on program. She said it was like something that came to her. She's a unity min minister with her present ministry being praying with people around the world through unity telephone prayer ministry. So far, I've reserved a domain name, Prosperity Prayers. 
Woo, what an awesome name. I love that name. And she's moving forward. She got inspired with an idea. Phil's on this call right now. He's in the program. And he says, I'm really excited about the information. Phil, we are delighted to have you in that program. Mena says, I watched the videos right away. First, she went through the videos. That's something you can do as well. And she was blown away with the content. So it doesn't matter who you are, where you are, where you came from. It can absolutely work for you. She says that this woman, Pamela, has her son working with her. You could come into this with a partner if you want and learn that way. That's something you might want to do. Rivaj says, this is my route to achieving my C-type goal. What's a C-type goal? That's a goal that excites you and scares you at the same time. He's moved into action, has been launching. and He's from Dublin, Ireland. All right. So Giselle also, she's from France, living in Southern California now. She joined the program and now she's looking at launching her program. She has a couple ideas, not really set on anything right now and looking for an accountability partner, which she found in the program. We've got Kimba who lives in Villa Richa, Risa in Georgia and she's excited. She dove right in and started going into the, into the bonuses as well and phenomenally into study. Mary, who is thrilled to be part of the program, and she loves that she's learning new ways of creating growth and results in her life. And she's excited about bringing great value to the world. We've got Alexandra from Munich, Germany. Now she's also in the program. She attended the Matrix. That's where I met her. She started to write a book with my author program and made a decision. She's going to be a New York Times bestseller, but she's also in a million in a month. Carolina, she bought the program yesterday and she dove right in. She's already designed and tested her personal development programs for parents and kids. Now she needed to learn about copywriting, marketing, building a funnel. That's what we're teaching her so that she can do just that. We've got Judith from Brisbane, Australia, who's also in the program. She got into an idea and started to do the groundwork and she's excited and moving forward. Renee says, thank you for letting me see it all. Literally seeing how you break it all down. It's exactly what I need. And I think that's what you need to understand is that that's what Trace and I do. We do online marketing. We get to do the work that we do, the passion that we have, helping people all over the world from the comfort of our homes and from our clients the same, from the comfort of their homes. Now, I want to talk to you about an idea that we have of something that we're going to do. Let me just stop the screen sharing here now so that we can come back here. I want to talk to you about something that we've created as a really, really, really fun bonus. All right. Now, I know that one of the things that's possible for anyone who's looking to create a revenue source, multiple revenue streams, a single revenue source, is that there are opportunities that are out there. If we think about the information that's being sold online today, we're talking about a 172 billion dollar enterprise annually what do i mean by that i mean that if we, if we think about e-commerce people are doing business online nowadays as you know i'm sure you know that well one of the top things that's being sold online today is information and there was a study that was done that they estimated that information programs coaching courses online stuff live events any kind of information products, if they're information loaded, it tributes to just under $200 million annually. Now, just imagine you having a portion of that. I have seen people come out of nowhere. They have no formal education. I don't have formal education. They did not have entrepreneurial parents or mentors. I didn't have entrepreneurial parents or mentors. Fortunately, I met Bob Proctor and began studying with him. And I've taken many courses online, still continue to expand my learning. Why? Because it's the business that I'm in. It's what I do to help others. So I continue to expand my knowledge and my awareness and implement so that I can bring more value to you. And that's important. You get to do what you love. You get to work in a field that's phenomenal, that's exciting, that you can do from anywhere. I've seen people that had no money, that were struggling. They found the money to make a decision and an investment, joined a program, but they implemented and created phenomenal results. And that's what you can do as well. So what Trace and I have done, so I'm going to share my screen again, and I want to show you something that we're doing for anyone that joins the Million in a Month author or Million in a Month program today.